Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way through Pinwheel Forest after helping Lenora recover the Dragon Skull, and we also met Castelia City's gym leader, Berg. In today's episode, as you can see, there is a huge bridge in the horizon, and I am thinking we're probably going to be crossing it. It is January 15, 2013! We have just left Nakreen City, and now we have made it to Sky Arrow Bridge. Ooh, look at this. This is really, really nice. I've never seen anything like this. This is absolutely amazing. You guys told me that there are no trainers to worry about, so we're going to run through this and just enjoy it and just, you know, really take it all in. Look at this atmosphere. Look at this bridge. I've never experienced anything like this. And what? It switched the view? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that is so great. I can't believe we're running through something like this in Pokemon. The Unova region is so full of surprises, I can't even imagine all the things that are to come still. If this is just the beginning, what could all happen? We still have six badges left to get, and there is so much to explore. I'm just looking forward to it. I'm so happy with this, and it's just going to be a really great adventure with our Pokemon and with you guys. We have made it to the stop, so let's head inside once again. And I think we are coming very close to where we need to be. We have made it to Castelia City. Oh yeah, Castelia City. This looks really nice. Uh, you told me, you guys told me that this is the biggest city in a Pokemon game. So that is really cool. I can't believe we're in an area like that. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, buy some super potions and some stuff. I don't have a lot of uh, stuff, supplies, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick these up uh, very quickly before we go any further. We might need some great balls. Uh, you never know. I'm going to go ahead and pick up about three. Our Pokemon are pretty healed up, though, so I don't think we'll need to heal them up for now. Nurse Joy seems to be occupied anyways. <laughs> Joy! All right, let's make our way around here. Um, I, where are we supposed to go? I, I, I don't know. We should probably read some signs around here. This says, Mode Street, Prime Pier. Okay, cool. Prime Pier. Let's see what else this says. Narrow Street, Unity Pier. Okay, so I guess there's a lot of piers because you can either head one road or you can go the other road. This says, I had Pokemon Gym, Liberty Pier. Cool. We are going to be making our way to the Pokemon Gym and hopefully we can bump into our buddy Berg once again. Let's head inside. Uh, we're stopped. Hey, Rodri. I just challenged the gym leader, Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm going to keep winning like this against all of the Unova Region's gym leaders. Then, I'll head for the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a stronger trainer I am. That will make me feel truly alive. See you later, Sharon. Can we walk inside now? No! Oh-ho! Uh -huh. You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is Rodri. Come to challenge the gym, I suppose. Oh, sorry, but could you wait a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at Prime Pier. All right, Prime Pier was right next to the Pokemon Center, and Team Plasma is at it again. Why, Team Plasma, when you are losing to a young trainer, would you keep on going and mess with a gym leader? I don't know. You know, sometimes sometimes things just don't make sense. I'm pretty sure this was Prime Pier because it was right next to the Pokemon Center. And there's Berg. Come on, this way. Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Rodri, is there anything we can do? My Muna, Team Plasma took it. I heard this lady scream and ran after the thief as fast as I could, but this city's so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. But that's so bad. Taking people's Pokemon is really bad, because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris! Agree, no fear, we will get that Pokemon back. Right, Rodri? Having said that, find a person or a Pokemon here in Castellia City would be like finding a needle in the haystack. I spy a gym leader. Last time went so well I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking, I need to get out of here. Rodri, let's go! Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard. So you go after those bad guys, okay? 
All right, guys, it looks like we have been given a task, and we are going to have to go after Team Plasma once again. Uh, now, I'm thinking that we should probably follow Berg back to his gym, because I'm not sure where else he could be. And yeah, there he is. That way! Mmm, they're heading toward the gym! All right, well, they're, yeah, they're heading toward the gym. Great, okay, good pick there. Good, uh, good find. And let's see, where is he? What? What is going on here? He's not there. Oh, is that him up there? Okay, yeah. I see the little three Team Plasma grunts. This is definitely the place. No one's here. Not a soul. No other Team Plasma members know any of the seven sages are inside. If you think I'm lying, why don't you, we have a little battle and find out? I had a thought. I'll take care of this weak looking run so you can show off by handling that tough looking guy over there. Oh, please. Rodri, I'll leave that one to you. Here we go, it looks like we're going to be fighting three Team Plasma Grunts. Uh, I think we're only fighting one. It looked like Berg was being surrounded by two. Berg is a champ if he's going to be taking on those two trainers. We're going up against a Sand Dial. I'm going to send out Roran. We should be looking quite good to take down the Sand Dial. I'm looking forward to this little battle. Let's go ahead and use Razor Shell. Razor Shell, slowly but surely, becoming one of my favorite moves because of how strong it is. Uh, I have learned from you guys that Roran... Uh, Duat is a physical attacker and you know that move we are using is physical So that's probably why it's doing so great for us. All right another sand dial is coming out. Let me sand dial sand dial uh, I get it like a sand dial it, Isn't that what they used to keep time back in the day? I'm pretty sure a sand dial makes sense. We gained some XP. We defeated Team Plasma Grub Come on seriously all I did was take away people's Pokemon. We got 680 for winning. This is bad. Bad, 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 for Team Plasma or Plasma for sure. It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages right now. Phew, we got lost. Even with directions from the X-Transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. Wait! Rotary, you come too! Alright, let's head inside and help out our friends and see what is going on! Ooh! Oh, it's all of Team Plasma, it looks like. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Indeed. No matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am. It's the Black Dragon type Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The Black Dragon appeared before a hero who sought the ideal way to knit together a world full of warring people. This black dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land, and that is how Unova was created. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean Team Plasma, desires. Here in Castalia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon, talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at Akimula Town? You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? <laughs> you are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well, we will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Thank you! Mooney, I'm so glad to see you again! Bianca, why are you thanking them? They take people's precious Pokemon. It's just, I'm, I'm so happy that my Mooney is safe. 
The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay, thank you, Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my yodeling Pokemon back again. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around Castalia City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris! Um, that's great! Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take. Hmm, people and Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you. See you! What? Wait! Well then, Rodri, I'll be waiting in the gym. Catch you later too, Berg. And whoa, it looks like Team Plasma gave up Muna quite easy there. Maybe something's going on. This looks like a little gym statue, but we can't talk to it. So let's make our way outside. Before we make our way to the gym, there is actually one more thing we are going to take care of. Now, this has been highly suggested by you guys. We are going to make our way a little bit further. And if I'm correct, it is this way from what you guys told me. Yes, it says ahead, Route 4. And that is where we are going to be going. Whoa, look at all these people. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's up? Hey, look, a girl with blue hair. How are you doing? Hey, don't let Nurse Joy find out I'm talking to you. All right, she said something about Pokemon trainers on Route 4. Oh, well, it looks like we are very close to it. And hopefully... This is it. We have made it to Route 4 because we are going to be adding a new Pokemon to our team. I am very excited for this one. This has been a very highly suggested Pokemon. We are going to run around that sand. When I bump into the Pokemon, that is going to be our next team member. I will be back with you guys in like two seconds. Okay, so there we go guys, that's the Pokemon I've been looking for. It is Darumaka, level 15. This one is a female. As you can see, I have Floater up in front, because if we had Roarin, Roarin would probably faint it with the water moves, since Darumaka is a fire type. I'm gonna go for the air cutter then. We'll see how much damage our Floater can do to it. Hopefully not too much. I just wanna get it down into the red zone, so then we can start throwing some Pokeballs at it. All right, let's go for the air cutter then. Let's see how much that does. Whoa, a crit. It has brought it down to almost nothing. Okay, the the sandstorm didn't kill it completely or faint it, but I'm going to go for the great ball This is about as good as it could get so let's hope that we can do it right now I'm a B tricking this I really want this Darumaka to join our team So all fingers crossed here. We're gonna be able to do it and there we go got you Darumaka was caught and woo We're gonna have ourselves a fire type now Darumaka's data was added to the pokedex It says Darumaka the Zen charm Pokemon when its internal fire is burning, it cannot calm down and runs around. When the fire diminishes, it falls asleep. So very cool, we are going to be giving our Darumaka a nickname. And now this is something from one of my favorite video game series, The Legend of Zelda. You might be able to guess what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. And we are gonna name our Darumaka Darunia after the Goron. So welcome to the team Darunia. We are more than happy to have you here. Now I am gonna use a repel because I don't want to be bumping into any random Pokemon in this area. It's actually uh, a very tricky area. I had kind of a hard time finding Darumaka. The smoke ball we found did come in very handy. Uh, I didn't know what it uh, what its effects were till I actually read it. And if you equip it, you can actually flee from any Pokemon battles, which is really cool. So that came in very handy, especially in that sandy area where it's a lot more difficult to get away from some of the Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like we have made it back here to Castelia City. I am going to be training up our Darumaka uh, very soon. Probably going to be training up all of our Pokemon a little bit uh, just to get ready. And what is this? I found them and you've really got to have more ways. Listen, take this. It'll help you in dark places. We got TM70 Flash as well. Okay, I just came down this road for nothing. But great, it looks like we have gotten ourselves 
Flash? Whoa, you guys told me to find that. I did not expect to find it like that. That That is great. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to this next gym uh, now since our team is actually building slowly but surely. So in the next episode, guys, we are going to be making our way inside of Castelia City's Pokemon Gym, taking on its leader, Berg, Premier Insect Artist. Okay, if you guys have any tips on the gym coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.